nothing on planet earth where y'all get that from bro y'all seen an interview or some shit hmm come on don't try to act like you know man don't try to act like you just knew bro dope abbreviation all right anyway uh let's check out this shut the fuck up dude damn let's check out this doctor strange trailer man like jeez dude every night i ain't gonna lie it seemed like it's kind of quick that this uh this trailer is here i dream the same dream Nightmare begins. Dream a dream. Dream my dream. I did what I had to do. To protect our world. You cannot control everything, Strange. You Sam open the between universes. And we don't know who or what will walk through it. Wanda. What do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. He was right. I'm not gonna know what the hell is going on in this trailer. I already know. I'm sorry, Stephen. Your desecration of reality will not go unpunished. We should tell him the truth. We should tell him the truth. Oh, shit! Things just got out of hand. You break the rules. Look out! Hero. I do it. I become the enemy. Oh, facts. Sexist. It doesn't seem fair. It's because you're a woman. Come on now. Oh, that shot looks great. I have no idea. I have no idea what I just... Uh, I don't know what I'm watching. <laughs> I don't know what I just watched. I don't know what I just saw. But I do I do know one thing. There's like a picture in the comics where it looks like Homegirl's face was like full of blocks. I forgot her name. Um, uh, uh, but I'm guessing, is that like a reference to that shit? New Rockstar? Do they have a video for it? Uh, let me look. Because I'm be honest, I don't know what the fuck is happening. I, I don't, you know, I don't be in the comics like that. I just watch the fucking movies, bro. Look at this. 40 minutes ago, chat. 40, literally 40 minutes ago. Welcome back. Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness trailer breakdown. Holy shit. Right on time, dude. Right on motherfucking time. Okay, explain to me what, 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 what I just saw. Small freeze. Oi, oi, chap. Cheerio, sir, don't I? <laughs> oi, oi, chap. <laughs> Cheerio, sir. Back to New Rockstars. I'm Eric Voss, and this is a breakdown of the latest trailer for Marvel's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse. Oh, my God. Does that mean that for a split second, we're going to see Doctor Strange in the new Jurassic, in the new Jurassic uh, World movie? Come on now. Don't do that. Please don't do that. This looks absolutely disturbing, bruh. Which assures us I will always be there. Old friend. Verse of Madness stars. I'm Eric Voss, and this is a breakdown of the latest trailer. Bro, I knew I recognized the voice. I was like, wait, what whose voice is this? I was like, whose voice is this? For Marvel's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which assures us I will always be there, old friend. Checkmate! We are getting an MCU Illuminati lineup, including Patrick Stewart, Charles Xavier. What is this movie? I gotta admit, I've outdone myself on this one, folks. Analyzing this trailer frame by frame for details, I don't think anyone oh, else shit. is wait, wait. enough to see or to talk about. So, are we getting 
wait. And uh, yeah, I'm also gonna include some stuff in the TV spot version of the trailer and clues in the official poster. And thanks to True Bill for sponsoring today's video. More on them later. Let's get started. Every night. This is. I dream the same dream. This is overload, man. So the trailer opens in Strange's Nightmare, a frightening hellscape covered in bones and skulls, dead trees bent askew, and in front of him, a representation of the Sanctum Sanctorum, melting into inky nothingness like the other New York buildings we saw in the first trailer, all evoking a comic okay. book ink melting of reality in What If Episode 4, except that this isn't exactly Strange's Sanctum. It's significantly thinner than we last saw in Spider-Man No Way Home, and it is one floor taller. The effect is a more gaunt structure, like a croaking haunted hotel. What was his healthy sanctum fortress is now a withering skeleton of itself. And notice in the sky is a glowing red eye, reminding us, of course, of the red edges of Wanda Maximoff's hex reality in WandaVision. This I ain't gonna lie, it is kind of fucked up that they got mad, that everybody got mad at her, but I ain't saying nothing to this dude. Found you from KSI, girl who plays games here from England, you cute. What the fuck? I'm married, by the way. I have a wife, dude. Injected into Strange's mind by the Scarlet Witch. Since the commercials in WandaVision were confirmed to be messages from Strange to Wanda, these two share a psychic link. Now, this Strange has a patch of blue sewn into the cloak of he was He was save, he did it to save the world, not for some kids. Okay, but she was minding her business. Like, why? who else did it affect? Other than the people who were in that box. But don't, no, but ain't nobody really care about them anyways, bro. There wasn't no, like... They were nobody important, like, literally. The show went on for a long time, and, like, there was no papers up about missing people or nothing. Levitation, an inverse of the red patch on blue of Defender Strange, who saves America Chavez in a second. Blue versus I'm red just saying. seems to be Yeah, a whole town, a whole town full of nobodies, bro. Film. Strange has been shifted from his normal... Ain't nobody care about them, man. ...blue tone, along with a lot of the settings in this, to signal passivity, all to contrast with Wanda Maximoff's red chaos and violence. Now, on the other side of the Sanctum doors, there's a reverse shot of Strange's entrance from the first trailer. Now we see how the stormy sea has claimed the whole Sanctum structure, save for the central staircase, which now extends up and up and up into nowhere like a trick luring one to heaven, except it's not. It goes into this hellish red eye. And at the base what? of the staircase, these weren't there. The past times we saw the sanctum, now these two statues, one male, one female, both bearing torches, maybe representing the Maximoff twins. Then a teacup mm. shatters on the ground. Behind it looks like the wheel of an old wheelchair. Now this isn't exactly the wheelchair of Professor X from the X-Men films, but I suspect a lot is gonna be changing for whatever cameos show up in this film. Then America Chavez gets strung up in front of a star. So they really about to get the X-Men opens up to endless more star portals within that portal. This is our best known power to kick open these star shaped portals. We might actually be seeing the origin of her powers right here. Wait, we what? We saw the same setting in the first trailer. I think it is her home reality. The Utopia so y'all think we're going to get y'all think we're going to get like the OG X-Men or like they going to like recast. In the comics, the Utopian Parallel faces destruction from black holes, so her mothers sacrifice themselves, their particles dispersing throughout the multiverse, and the creature attacking her here may be, go with me on this, the Demiurge, who is the embodiment of Earth's sentient life, in the comics, the original source of her powers, and we should mention, is one final form of Billy Kaplan Wiccan Wanda Maximoff's Guys, son, so which could be- I hate Valentine's because it's yet another holiday where men have to blow their money on women. Sexist. <laughs> be how this film ties the fate of Wanda and her sons to that of America Chavez. Then again, the Demiurge has- You don't have to. You don't, you don't have Happy to. Happy Valentine's D-O-N-T-A-I. I'm going to draw you soon, but I want you to tell me what anime style you would want it in. Um, chat, pick an anime style. I've really been shown to be this hostile and demonic. Actually, another possibility here, this entity's ribbony appearance, like glowing electrical tape, could connect to Strange's spell, the Crimson Bands of Citrac, which he used to- Go, look at the goat. Look, look, look at the goat right there. Make this fella, maybe, Citrac himself. Agent, now, the TV shot- up to you for a while. They're saying JoJo's- you really inspired me to keep going every day, and I love coming home watching your streams when I get home. I come here, bro. Hope you had a good day and happy Valentine's. Come here, bro. Talk to me. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. 
By the way, I took off that little thing where it would like cut y'all off like mid sentence, bro. That should be that should used to be so fucking annoying. But now I can hear you. Now I can hear the full full thing y'all saying. I'd actually They're saying Jojo. Moment. Was it Jojo's bizarre adventure? Or just... Hair tied back. In... Yeah, I like the hair though. He looked kind of cool. A ponytail with stripes, saving America Chavez from this thing, using what looks like a three-dimensional version of Strange's normal flat Eldritch magic. So this evil Doctor Strange would then lead to the shock. This, this the year. evil Doctor Strange that we saw in this trailer is this supposed to be the same? From the show trailer of that same ponytail, Doctor Strange tumbling through Ooh, a Boom Docks will be a fire that flips upside down to find us back with our Doctor Strange in bed. But is it our Doctor Strange? Because Dad, it... any chance of a reaction of the new Sideman vid? <clears throat> Very good this week. You see, Love I... the stream. You see, I had it pulled up, but now I'm not gonna do it. You're welcome. Hands are fully healed. When in past I'm joking. Films, Strange's Shut hands are always up, meant to be forever and scarred wait. and weak. There's an iPad left open on his bed. Coffee filters into test tubes on his nightstand. Strange said in this part of the trailer that he has the same dream every night. Hell sanctum. His alternate self saving a kid. And then the nightmare Alvin begins. Beast so the nightmare be might the be. the same people that want to get some bitches but complain about it. Don't make sense. They be the same people that want to get some bitches but then complain about it? Hey, yo, who is he talking to? Oh, shit. I think he's talking to somebody at the chat, bro. This reality that he wakes up into, a reality where he never became a sorcerer, he never injured his hands, and really just aged into a lonely douchebag falling asleep. I won't let that happen to me. Still open. Moving on. The nightmare begins. Ah, I get this is a reference. But it's Pornhub tab still open. Moving on. The nightmare begins. This is a reference to his face breaking apart. I don't know. That sounds like something he would say, though. Could be loading to the next, to the later part of the trailer, where his face, face is breaking apart like puzzles in the. <laughs> Come on, man. You know you want to make that. You want to. You want to make that. I did uh, what I had to do. Now, when Strange says the nightmare begins, we should also acknowledge the possibility that the demonic entity Nightmare could be the villain of this film, Charlie as this idea B02. was floated Drop by the. my camera roll and broke up three relationships. If I'm not happy, nobody will be. Original director Scott Derrickson. The Marvel what? Studios title card turns purple and has tentacles snaking across the letters, evoking the limbs of Gargantos, but also one of the multi limbed creatures in What If, which this movie seems to be showing the live action versions of. In fact, oh. on the poster for this film, in the lower right corner, one broken shard of glass shows the shield of Captain Carter. Okay, wait, you can barely even tell what that is. In the lower right corner, one broken shard of glass shows the shield of Captain Carter. Ain't no way. Haley Atwell may show up in this film as a live action version of that character. Then Doctor Strange conjures these red orbs. If you look closely, they are coming from the dark hold on the floor there. That's Marvel lore's Book of the Damned that appeared on WandaVision first in Agatha's possession before it was claimed by Wanda. That's why the magic he conjures is, is red. red like Wanda's chaos magic. As we saw her conjuring uh, in of course, WandaVision scene, of course, we could be that. seeing a depiction of the various universes as being thought. connected in this movie, with Doctor Strange trying to locate one world in particular. And in the foreground of that shot, that looks like that is one of Maximoff standing there with him. But then Strange, suddenly afraid, slams all this magic back into the book as if he's trying to hide it from the person in the room with him. And on that page, you can see a triangle, perhaps a symbol of Marvel's Illuminati, a location he wants to Wouldn't hide they have already seen everything Maximoff? though? For reasons I'll get to later as we move on. To protect our world, you cannot control everything, Strange. Sam you Raimi. You the doorway between universes. We don't know who or what will walk through it. So Strange argues that he did what he had to do to protect our world. Our world, as in his actions saved his universe at the expense of all other universes. Strange used the Time Stone to give his universe an improper... So you mean to tell me that don't sound selfish? So you mean to tell me that don't sound selfish? Selfish? Wanda was literally just... She just had like a town, like a neighborhood or something, bro. And he he did a whole fucking what you call it? He erased a whole bunch of different universes. Come on now. Advantage to undo Thanos' snap, and more recently, he used his magic of the runes of Kof Call to basically gaslight and warp society into a whole bunch of plot holes. Facts. Mordo warned us about this. That when Strange would push the laws of reality like this, the bill comes due. Always. And like Strange in that what if universe bypassing an absolute point, 
this strangest reality has begun to melt the same exact way and open itself up to interdimensional threats. We see a new look at this melting from the rooftop, individual bricks breaking off, cars floating in that blizzard, headlights still shining. Now the melting of the buildings here seems to merge into these black strands, reminding us of the ancient one's dark branch timeline that she her bald her ass. Did she die, bro? And here it's not just that reality is melting into nothing, but that chaos is. How does she even die? Was she supposed to be powerful? Yo, what's up, Dont? I hope you're having a good Valentine. Thank you, bro. One beneficiary destination. On to the next clip. Wanda. Ain't no way she did not die to cancer. Wait, she died to cancer? I thought she was like all powerful being, and she died to a. Ain't that like a human disease? I ain't gonna lie, that shit kind of weak. What do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. She died from a fall? She fell from a sky... How did she fall? I'm sorry. I think can I think cancer is probably just the better way to go then. Bro, you're all powerful. Imagine like Spider-Man... Imagine Iron Man defeated Thanos by tripping him and making him fall off a cliff. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, bro. He was right. She's a human. So we see Scarlet Witch once again holding the seance right, in the camaratage courtyard. We know that's where it is. I'm just saying, you'll never see WandaVision die from just being pushed off of a fucking skyscraper, man. Because you can tell from the statues behind her, in the floor beneath her, the same tiling that we see beneath that Minotaur sorcerer later. We get a better look of him in this trailer. This is Rintra from the comics. But yes, the Scarlet Witch is probably the one attacking Kamartaj. Because mm. actually in the TV spot, the sorcerers in that courtyard raise their shields to some floating figure overhead. I'm pretty sure that is Wanda. Now compared to her look at the end of WandaVision during the seance, her Scarlet Witch wardrobe has evolved. Her sleeves now cover her arms fully and darker tones streak through her chest. She look fire, bro. Also, as she Look five. Before, the tips of her fingers are black, similar to Agatha's fingers when she would use dark magic. And I like this right as we hear Strange say, Wanda, a shockwave. I did watch Doctor Bro, I did watch Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange came out in what year? I saw when it came out in theaters and never watched it again. Her body. Now, in her orchard, if that is what it really is, Wanda tells Strange that Vision had theories about the multiverse that was dangerous. So, despite Vision 2016, bro, come on now. She still created an alternate reality in that Westview hex and now continues to peer through alternate universes to find her children. And yes, this peaceful orchard with sheep is probably an illusion. Because later in the trailer, as Wanda points out the double standard of Strange breaking the rules and him getting to be a hero strange is wearing the same outfit as he is here in the orchard suggesting that wanda's actually in a much darker place in this moment both in her mindset and in her literal surroundings oh damn okay what the fuck is that I'm sorry steven your desecration of reality will not go unpunished so Strange brings America Chavez and Christine Palmer to the ruins of what I think is the utopian parallel. And Christine wears this sleek blue outfit. And that's because this might actually be an alternate Christine Palmer whom Strange found working at Illuminati HQ because the TV spot reveals Christine. Difference between when Wanda and Strange broke the rules is Wanda did it for herself. Strange did it for everyone else. Christine in these clothes plus a white lab coat in their detainment sector. Then Mordo, or perhaps an alternate version of Mordo that might actually be Sorcerer's- But, but, isn't the reason he had to do that though is because of, he started it? Because a kid asked him to do something and he did it? Come on now, let, let's not, come on now. You can't start a fire and then when you put it out, you know, get pat, pats on the back and shit like that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Supreme from his native reality detained Strange using these nifty looking handcuffs. Spider Man fucked it up though. But who told who who does Spider Man go to to, to 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 do this shit? And who did it? It ain't like Spider Man can do it. He could have said no. <laughs> ain't nobody put a gun to Doctor Strange's head and tell him to do it. He did it because he knew he could do it. And then he fixed it. I'm talking about in general, not to a specific person. Nah, you was talking to the chat, bro. Love the design of these because it's a mix of analog sorcerer machinery with runes engraved into that spinning lock in the middle. But overall, they have this chunky silver. How is it Peter's fault? More futuristic. Explain something to me how it's Peter's fault. Exactly. Device. Strange is a grown ass man, bro. 
Uranium tech of these Ultron. Yeah. St Strange is a grown ass man that got pressed by a high schooler. Hey, daddy, love you, daddy. Want me to go get some tea and crumpets for daddy Tay? Anything for my king? LMAO Nar, I just wanted to hear her say that. Sentries! Ultron Sentries! Who escort Doctor Strange in this awesome location that looks like a Supreme Court Hall of Justice. We see four kneeling winged statues and then a warrior. I almost with thought this was the uh, ring. The way a certain multiversal warrior, Captain Carter, emerged from oh. a circular portal Night with monkey. her sword People in hand. People really now, mad at Wanda when the Avenger be straight killing thousands like it's nothing while fighting. Hulk has has prob killed more jumping around than Wanda's whole neighborhood LMAOO. And did anybody die in the neighborhood? Did anybody even die in the neighborhood? That's what I want to know. Like, did anyone die though? <laughs> this whole interior. The glass. Nobody even died. Exactly. Nobody even died, bro. They just, you know. They just was doing regular shit. They just wasn't aware of it, man. Ceiling, the curved staircases, the classic columns is actually the interior of the British Museum in London, a place I've been to many times. I love the British Museum. It's famous for having the Rosetta Stone, one of the earliest Eleven. artifacts Hi, that anthropologists have used. from Switzerland again. Love your streams. Try to support you the best I can, but it's after midnight here, so I might fall asleep. Much love. She, she, they were slaves. And guess what, bro? Black people were sla were slaves for so many fucking years, okay? They can handle it for however long it was, man. Translate, Come on now. Decode, cross reference. You mean to tell me they were slaves and they didn't get whipped? They didn't get whipped, and they got fed, and they had meals, and they had houses to go back to, and they had they had families. Come on now. Old languages, which is super fitting for Charles Come on, bro. Xavier to model his multiverse. Why y'all doing question marks? Slaves was a whole was a whole bunch of black people. The slaves, the, those slaves in there were white families that nobody cared about, bro. They were fine, man. Personal nexus point on such a cultural touchstone. Now, assuming this is Illuminati HQ, I find it fascinating the parallels between this and the Citadel of He Who Remains in Loki, which also had a lit tower, inner columns, and four statues in the central <laughs> chamber, one of which was mysteriously destroyed. We got an answer to what that was all about. Now, there are six chairs on the Illuminati panel, but we only see three members in this trailer. Could Kang have been a fourth member of the mm. Illuminati who was cast out, leading to him constructing his own crude imitation well, of the Illuminati down. Citadel, a Citadel, and a sham judicial bureaucracy of his own run by Still not three. Selfish. That was Wanda's point. Also, we literally saw Spider-Man screw the spell up in 4K. He didn't. It, he didn't screw the spell up. He just kept saying things, bro. Wasn't Doctor Strange a doctor? Like, wasn't he an actual doctor? So you mean to tell me that he can fuck up on surgery if someone just keeps talking? Puppets. It's just a theory. Now, if you're keeping your fingers crossed that the Beanie Baby collection the in your saying, dog. is going to regain its value and all of your money can Ain't nobody make you do that. Ain't nobody make you do that spell, bro. To be gone. Our friends at Truebill are here to help take some of the pressure off of you say bills. When you take the We should tell him the truth. That's crazy. Who Baby, yes, one of the biggest reveals in MCU history, one that we will be unpacking for months to come. Yes, that was the voice of Patrick Stewart, Professor Charles Xavier in the Fox X-Men films, now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a member of what is almost certain. Bro, he's got to be old as now, Marvel's fuck. Marvel's Illuminati is a secret Holy alliance of Tony shit. Stark, Charles Xavier, Reed Richards, Doctor Strange, Black Bolt, and Namor. Black Panther was initially gonna be part of it, but he backed out. Actually, in Iron Man 2, Tony Stark had a little app on his phone labeled Illuminati. Fun little Easter egg there. But here, the Illuminati, if they will still go by that name in the MCU, seem to be serving as a multi- I feel like they're probably gonna change it. With representatives from across the universe. Didn't he die in Logan? Well, maybe it's, I guess it's like different. I don't, I don't know how it works because a lot of the villains that were in the Spider-Man movie, they, like, they died though. So it's probably like a time frame thing by bringing fox x-men characters into this they're building on the meta logic from spider-man no way home marvel studios is now adopting formerly separate cinematic universes as mere universes within their multiverse That's and expanding crazy. to the fox x-men titles but if patrick stewart is a representative from a separate reality that could limit how much of that separate reality we actually see in this movie and which other fox x-men cameo just yet like ian mckellen magneto hugh jackman wolverine maybe maybe not but ryan i Reynolds doubt Deadpool, it very likely 
Ridley, as he has been long confirmed to cross over to the MCU, and now that door has been opened. I mean, this could also give us some context finally no way. to why Evan Peters was cast as Wanda's brother, Pietro, in her hex. Now, yes, the show producers did say this is just a Ralph Boner joke, but the logic is all in place now. We never saw Ralph after Wanda's hex, so it could just be as simple as Wanda's- Bro, see, look at them, bro in place now we never saw ralph after they chilling man sex, so it could just be as simple as they don't even look all that mad man <laughs> don't even look all that mad you, you mean to tell me they, they had to go to work bro they didn't have to you know clock in or nothing they chilling man it was like a little vacation they just a little confused on you know why 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 it was so long man just because they got their arms crossed don't mean they mad as Wanda's ability to warp reality <laughs> just chilling, bro. had caused her to pull the likeness of a Pietro from the nearest adjacent universe. This was a fire like, scene. If Tom Holland Peter Parker were to die in the MCU and Wanda Maximoff wanted to create a pocket reality where Peter was alive once more, the Peter in that hex might look like Andrew Garfield. If that makes sense to you, Evan Peters actually being Pietro from his Fox X-Men timeline, crossing over into WandaVision could make an equal amount of sense. It does. Meanwhile, not, I don't know whatever. if this is the Charles Xavier from Just the, get the exact actors, man. Fox X-Men timeline, whatever that was at the end of that series. Because one thing that was clear is that Charles Xavier died in the year 2029 in Logan after it was revealed he accidentally killed all the X-Men, or most of them. I think it's likelier that this Charles could be from a branch timeline within that universe because time travel screwed up a lot of stuff there, let's be honest. He actually could be something closer to a live action version of the X-Men 97, a version of Charles Xavier that existed in the branch timeline that eventually discovered multiversal technology. What now, the yes, fuck? there are six chairs. So let's try to fill these chairs, who they belong to. Two of the figures are seated and one walks in with a cane. So I'm wondering if this could be Charles, who in this form has found his ability to walk once more. Now the seated figure on the left wears a form-fitting suit that you could say looks a lot like the vibranium armor of Black Panther. And yes, this Illuminati lineup may include a new actor playing a variant T'Challa. However, I think this particular figure just looks I, a bit more slender in the arms. I'm, like I'm Richards. lost. But that would also make it less likely to be John Krasinski. Yeah, let's be honest, he's jacked Ryan. But let's slide over to that other seated figure who is hooded. Could this be Sorcerer Supreme Mordo? Or what the fuck is even going on anymore? Or Spectrum, Monica I don't Rambeau. Know, or bro. were those Ultron centuries a clue that one member of this panel is actually Ultron Infinity from What If? Or that what? brilliant ship of the I don't think they would do that. From but I don't think they would do that. I know they sh I know they would like understand that a lot of the audience would be too confused if they just taking shit from shows and make and like it, it should be too confusing bro my favorite version of this would be this could be a reality in which tony stark's ultron protocol actually succeeded instead of turning on him which led to him being able to evolve into the i think he's just kind of throwing Man one play throwing theories out there tom cruise <laughs> get the I mean, fuck out of here speculation for years and now it just seems all possible doesn't it no let's focus on what charles actually says here we should tell him the truth what truth the truth that Strange maybe didn't do anything wrong, or that him becoming a sorcerer was a mistake, or that all of this is just some Kang exposed sham organization? Perhaps, but I think the truth here is that the MCU that we have loved all these years is not the core reality of this multiverse. That instead, we have actually been living in an incomplete, post House of M reality, where mutants have been erased this whole time. We just didn't see it as anything wrong. And now it is time to fix that. Let's move on. This is dope. That was dope. This is the star rank. Things just got out of hand. Okay, some real bonkers shit here. Doctor Strange and America Chavez fall through a reality with dinosaurs, a T-Rex fighting a Triceratops, but then to top that, they insanely smash into an animated cartoon reality. This could be one way doors open to crossovers with what if this could actually be how the animated Captain Carter gets roped into this. Then Strange and America explode what into the fuck? puzzle pieces. A visual that looks like a mix of Drax's reality stone hit in Infinity War oh. and Joe Quesada's art of the Scarlet That's the Witch art. House of M very that I was thinking about. Some of their blocks look like stones from a statue. This is disgusting. And you can actually see the rows of Steven's individual teeth still intact in his gums on each block. On to the next clip. Is that Marvel? Captain you Marvel. Look out! I do it, I become the enemy. 
So yeah, it looks like Wanda will invade Illuminati HQ and get into a huge brawl with someone who looks like they're going binary the way Captain Marvel does. But if you look at that person closely, this is a woman of color. Now I know some of you think this is Tom Cruise with a goatee, but that's just the contouring of her cheeks. Tom Cruise's figure is not this womanly folks. Look at this Tom. is definitely either Monica Rambo or her mother Maria Rambo. Maria Rambo's call sign was Photon, and in the main MCU, she died of cancer during the blip. But in WandaVision, Monica Rambo powered up into the superhero we assume will either be Photon mm, or Spectrum. It's probably her. The moment that happened, her body was split into several Because what wasn't that cells the whole thing they were setting up? through that hex wall. And I think one of those alternate <coughs> cells could be this one. Ayo, Miles. Now. If you think about it, Monica- Honestly, dude, do you really want to be Spider-Man? Like, look at all this shit you got to know. Like, this is OD. Like, you know you would be getting interviewed, right? And you will have to know this shit. I don't, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Yeah, fighting Wanda seems to be the most epic collision, considering these two were both there for the battle. Of like West you really want to get y'all, you, you really want to get yourself into this. Camertage in the tea room that we saw in the 2016 film, including Master Hamir returning from that. Film. I ain't gonna lie, man. Just, just do like a voiceover, like just do a voiceover in the game, bro. Just do a voiceover in the video game. This shit too deep. <laughs> this shit is way too deep, man. I'll just tell them you know the answers. Who? Who's you know? Because it ain't me. <laughs> I don't know shit. Look at her wardrobe. Star is embroidered on her jean jacket along with the phrase Amor. Wait, who the fuck is this? It's a good look at her view in WandaVision. Then we see the attack on Camertage in the tea room that we saw in the 26th. Oh, this is the girl. That's the girl. Master Hamir returning from that film. Then a close up of America Chavez gives a good look at her wardrobe. Star is embroidered on her jean jacket along with the phrase Amor. Es I feel like I'm gonna watch love this movie and be so and confused, bro. Some LGBTQ plus representation. Gargantos throws the bus. It's not that complicated. Oh, Layave here we go. The Key, the fucking the middle finger glass just puts up. Day. Well, actually, it's not that complicated if you've read all the comics as I, I, I have. And like, the shoot, shut, the, shut the fuck up, bro. Then I love this Jesus. shot. Strange looks up at another alternate sanctum with a statue out front, a statue that has no facial hair. Though in this New York, <laughs> this dude's sitting here watching the trailer. Ah, uh, as I expected. I'm surprised I didn't go with the blah, 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 blah. trees line the streets. Trees. Oh, I love the subtle nod of the blah, 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 blah. orchard. So in Strange's nightmare, we saw the darkest. Oh my God! Of all the people i seen react to the trailer. It's crazy how nobody picked up the blah, 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 blah. Like, dude, nobody likes you. Nobody likes you, bro. Here, this looks like the brightest timeline where a variant strange has used his powers only to better society. Moving on. Like, bro, you're literally the type of dude that goes to every freaking reaction to this shit. It's like, crazy how nobody's picking up that the, it's like, dude. That doesn't seem fair. Ah, uh, yo, that shot. Okay, it so looks interesting. Cool. Two Wandas Please, meet each bro. other, and this is Wanda's Westview house in WandaVision. You can see two scooters in the background belonging to her sons, Billy and Tommy. One of their baseball gloves on the floor there. But this place is wrecked. The staircase handrail, the balusters are broken, as if there was a fight between these two Wandas. And the Ooh, standing wee. one <laughs> is the one who is barefoot. Youch. I actually wonder if this kneeling Wanda tried to recreate the Westview hex to have her children once more, but failed and now defeated she's letting the darker side of her identity take over if you think about it the last time we saw her in wandavision her consciousness was split into two conscious selves something people who astrally project normally can't do there did i get my tickets for batman Blair, when does batman Blair come T, out and then the other one in the scar of the witch form searching for me that i get my actively. tickets now i am wondering which of those two is actually the deadlier threat the one who's searching for her kids or the march for it not giving up we see that oh, shot shit. again of Mordo striking Strange's cuffs. Now I'm wondering if Mordo might be doing this on purpose to free Strange so that Strange can help them fight this invading Scarlet Witch. But it might be too late because a huge explosion from red chaos magic tears through the HQ, leading to these elaborate fireworks as we think Rambo's form gets blasted through that explosion. Then this other sorcerer uses a sick move with a lasso to attack Gargantos. The TV spot actually showed America Chavez beneath this gross underbelly. And in these close-ups, you can see how each of its tentacles suckers are actually barbed with teeth Ugh. then this gnarly shot of wanda aiming red chaos magic she's at the doorway of illuminati that, see that look hard her face is bleeding like crazy and separately she has black ink stains on her shirt behind her in the distance looks like one of the bells of camartage perhaps after sacking that location and holding her seance there she used that to access the gateway to this compound but why does she want to get in here well when the camera zooms into her eye there's a brief image of two holding 
cells. These are Illuminati uh, detention cells. Doctor Strange was cuffed in one of these, and in the TV spot, Christine Palmer works among other techs who hold America in another cell. So I think the reason uh, Wanda has been able to find a reality with their sons, the reason why her attempt to recreate Westview didn't work, is that the Illuminati are detaining Billy and Tommy here in these two cells. Oh, and damn. for Wanda, that's especially infuriating because it's exactly what Hydra did to her and her twin brother, locking them up in adjacent cells. Like in the comic House of M, all of this madness comes from a denial by Professor X and by Doctor Strange to allow Wanda reality with her children. And it's gonna end with Wanda drastically warping all that reality. But in this case, I think a restoration of mutants alongside Avengers in the MCU. On to the final clip. Strange! Mm. A version of Doctor Strange and Wong on this snowy mountaintop trying Jeez, to raise dude, this is so much, figures. man. These beings look like I'm gonna forget all this the by the time the movie comes out. Texture that the buildings and the other surfaces are melting into, as if this is the chaos that it's all bleeding into. Now, the TV spot actually shows Strange facing another peak across the way with some winged devil at the peak of it. That spot also shows a close up of Strange whose face is rotting away, looking a lot like his zombie Strange self in What If Episode 5. I point it out because the TV spot also includes a shot of Wanda looking especially zombie-like. Now, while Zombie Strange in that episode got devoured by ants, Zombie Wanda ants. survived and she returned in the final episode. So I don't know if these are zombies as much as they're just animated corpses, but it is insane to see their souls so strong that they can keep their bodies intact long after their flesh should have expired. The final shot shows this rotting Strange blocking I a think you're just slow looking. What? Dozens what? of inky skeletons trying to shove what out past him. The skeleton arms like fan out out behind him, evoking the images of icon pose that he formed when here, fighting dude. Thanos in Infinity War. Now, counteracting that spell was the one time we saw the Soul Stone being used in the MCU. And I find it interesting that Strange's soul is all he has left. The film title comes together from hundreds of pieces, like the shattering and reassembling shards of reality in this movie, but this is the third title design we've seen. It's almost like the studio wants us to constantly reframe the reality in which we see this movie every time they talk about it. So, folks, so you got to check out our new merch options, including two. Hi, I ain't gonna lie. I watched that video and, and, and got even more confused, bro. And got even more confused. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, I can't, I, I really can't stand people who swear they just know everything about motherfucking everything. Like, dude, shut the